Hello and welcome to Master Auto Reviews. Would Europe's best-selling electric vehicle be able to replicate its success in the US? The Renault Zoe, a small hatchback, became the best-selling EV in Europe with a little more than 100,000 units sold in 2020. In the US, Tesla dominates the sales charts with the Model 3 and Model Y, while the best-selling small EV hatchback, the Chevy Bolt, only managed to sell 20,000 units in 2020. So let's compare Europe's best-selling model to the US top-selling affordable EV. The initial Renault Zoe was launched in 2012 and starting in 2013 was one of Europe's best-selling EVs. The second generation Zoe was launched in June 2019, bringing in some long-awaited upgrades. A bigger 52 kWh battery, 50 kW DC fast charging and a more powerful 100 kW motor. In 2020 it became Europe's best-selling EV. The Chevy Bolt EV was launched in 2016 and managed to outsell the Tesla Model S and become US best-selling EV in 2017. Sales went down in 2018 and 2019 both due to fierce competition and the start of tax credit phase-out. 2020 saw the Bolt EV perform a lot better, managing to sell just over 20,000 units. That being said, let's jump to the comparison. Weight and size the Chevy Bolt is a bigger vehicle than the Renault Zoe. It is 8.3 cm longer, 3.3 cm taller and has a 1.3 cm longer wheelbase, though the Renault Zoe is 2.2 cm wider. Most of that length difference appears to be going into the trunk volume as the Bolt has a 141 liter bigger trunk. The Zoe sits 20 mm lower than the Bolt. The Chevy is 114 kg heavier than the Zoe and most of that weight came from the 104 kg heavier battery pack. Battery and charging With a 66 kWh net battery capacity, the Chevy Bolt has an unusually big battery for this vehicle class. Zoe's battery is 14 kWh smaller. The estimated battery buffer of the Bolt EV is 3 kWh. The same as what Renault specifies for the Zoe. Both vehicles use a 400 volt propulsion system. When it comes to the AC charging, the Zoe has the upper hand. It can charge with up to 22 kilowatts on a tri-phase 400 volt outlet, while the Bolt is limited to 7.2 kilowatts using a 220 volt outlet. Both vehicles have similar fast charging capabilities. A maximum of 50 kilowatts for the Zoe and 55 kilowatts for the Bolt. A CCS and Type 2 charging connector is used by both. The Bolt allows for 160 km of range or 100 miles to be added for 30 minutes of fast charge, while the Zoe can add 10 km less range. So two key differences here. The Bolt has a significantly bigger battery while the Zoe can charge significantly faster using AC power. No need to go into the benefits of having a bigger battery, but maybe it is worth mentioning a little bit more about the 22 kW onboard charger of the Renault Zoe. Renault developed this 22 kW onboard charger with their supplier and fitted it to the first generation Zoe since its launch back in 2012. So this already amortized component gives the second generation Zoe a clear advantage, at least in Europe, as it allows both faster charging times using less expensive and complex charging stations, as well as more choices when it comes to charging locations. Performance and efficiency The Chevy Bolt comes equipped with a pretty powerful motor for this class. It produces 149 kilowatts or roughly 200 horsepower. The Zoe, on the other hand, comes equipped with a significantly less powerful motor, producing only 100 kW or 135 horsepower, hence the R135 name. The same story when it comes to torque. A maximum of 360 Nm are being delivered by the Chevy's motor, while the R135 motor of the Renault Zoe can only produce 245 Nm. Top speed is pretty close, although there is such a big power difference between the two. 146 km per hour or 91 miles per hour for the Bolt and 139 km per hour or 86 miles per hour for the Zoe. With 6.5 seconds to accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour, the Bolt is pretty fast while the Zoe lags behind with 9.5 seconds. Neither car is particularly aerodynamic. On the contrary, I would say with such drag coefficients. 0.29 for the Zoe and an even worse 0.308 for the Bolt. 
Unfortunately, there is no way to directly compare the driving range of these cars as neither of them are sold in both the European and US market. Due to this, the specified ranges are not measured using the same methodology and therefore not comparable. According to the EPA, the Chevy Bolt has a 259 miles or 417 kilometers range, while the Renault Zoe has a 385 kilometers or 239 miles range based on the WLTP test cycle. Same story when it comes to efficiency, different testing methodologies. According to the EPA, the Chevy Bolt needs 17.9 kWh to drive 100 km, while the Zoe needs 17.7 kWh based on the WLTP cycle. The most intriguing performance and efficiency fact is that although the Bolt has a 50% more powerful motor, it can drive only 7 km per hour faster than the Zoe. The bigger drag coefficient definitely plays a role in this, but I suspect the battery management and cooling system of the Bolt can sustain high current loads for a prolonged period of time as required when driving close to maximum speed. So what do you think? How would the best-selling European EV fare in the US market? Why does the Bolt EV do so poorly in the US although being so similar to the European bestseller? Don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section below.